it's me again. Um, I've decided to do a video for your maths lesson for tomorrow uh, for two reasons. One, because you haven't seen my hair for a long time. This is an update of my crazy, crazy mop on top of my head. And two, because um, some of your parents have said that you prefer videos sometimes than PowerPoint. Okay, so tomorrow's lesson, or today's if you're watching tomorrow, um, is about counting in tenths. So what is a tenth, first of all? What is a tenth? A tenth is a fraction. A tenth is less than one whole one. So it's just a part. Um, a tenth is the piece when the whole one has been divided or split equally into 10 parts. Okay, so let's think about the um, chocolate bar explanation that I've done in the past. So imagine our chocolate bar. That is the full chocolate bar. That is one. If I gave you that, I'm giving you one chocolate bar. Okay, but if I split it into 10 equal parts, and I broke off one part, that would be one-tenth that I gave you, okay? Um, so each of those parts is worth one-tenth. So one-tenth, 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 one-tenth. Okay, so every part is the same size, um, and the whole one was split into 10 equal pieces, so each piece is 1 10. Remember what fractions mean? 1 out of 10. So if I gave you, I'll just colour it in purple, 1 piece, I've given you 1 out of the 10 pieces that I had. So I've given you 1 tenth, okay? Um, so how many tenths does it make? Does it take to make a whole one? How many tenths does it make to take a whole one? Sorry, I'm saying that wrong. Anyway, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten tenths make a whole one, okay? So that would be represented by ten out of ten. So if I gave you the whole chocolate bar, I could call it ten tenths, or I could call it, it's equal to one. I could say that I'd given you the whole chocolate bar, okay? Now, if we were counting in tenths, we wouldn't just go one tenth, one tenth, one tenth, one tenth, one tenth. Would we? If I coloured in another chocolate piece, another tenth, I now have, or I've given you, if I gave you those, two tenths. Okay, and that would be written two out of ten. One tenth, two tenths. I wonder what would be the next one if I gave you another piece. Of course, it would be three out of ten, three tenths. So you can see, if I was counting in tenths and just adding one tenth each time, it's very easy. You go one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths, ten tenths. And that's when it gets tricky because now we've got one. So we really shouldn't be saying ten tenths, we should be saying one. Okay, and then after one, if I added another tenth, so say I had a, a second chocolate bar, and I gave you all of this, and then I split this chocolate bar into tenths again, and I gave you another tenth, well now you would have one whole one and one tenth so that would be written as one a big one one whole one and one out of ten okay and then so if you carry on counting in tenths next would be one and two tenths one and three tenths etc okay let me show you on a number line so on a number line if the number line went from zero to one Okay, so this represents the whole one again. If I split it into 10 equal pieces, okay, so we've got zero there, one at the end, okay, in the middle, we could call it a half, couldn't we? Yeah, because that's right in the middle, so that would be one over two, one half, but that's the same as how many tenths? Let's see. 
So if I was counting in tenth, that'd be one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths. Five out of ten, five tenths is the same as a half. And then it would be six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths, and then ten tenths, which is the same as one whole one, okay? So let's have a look at the numerators on our tenths. If I asked you to give me a tenth with a even numerator, so your even numbers, numbers that end in two, four, six, eight, or zero, um, we couldn't say one tenth, but two tenths has an even numerator, four tenths does, six tenths and eight tenths. So one, two, three, four, and maybe we could count 10 tenths as well. That's five with an even um, numerator. The odd numerators, one tenth, three tenths, five tenths, seven tenths, nine tenths. Okay, so some of the questions that you're going to get asked in your worksheet talk about odd and even, so I'll just remind you about that, okay? Um, if we were counting backwards, let's try counting backwards. So if we were going backwards from one, it would go out one, and we're going in tenths, it would be nine tenths, eight tenths, seven tenths, six tenths, five tenths, four tenths, three tenths, two tenths, one tenth, zero, okay? If we were on, let's do a question. If we were on seven tenths, and we went back two tenths, what would we be on? Let's see, so there's seven tenths, go back two tenths, one, two, we would be on five tenths. Okay, so some of your questions are things like that, okay? Good luck, I'm sure you'll do very well with it and hope to speak to you soon and I hope that you're all staying safe and happy. Bye.